Okay, now we're going to start getting everything ready to put a cylinder head on. Now then we just go through this in a few details. These are going to be brand new um, cylinder heads. They're basically beetle heads, although they fit a CT perfectly well, with a couple of slight advantages. In that since we're using flat top pistons and high compression heads, we might get a little more power out of the motor. Just as a matter of interest, you'll see that the edges which are going to mate up with the very tops of the cylinders are flush. Whereas on an older style of cylinder head, here's one from stock, you'll see there's a little ridge. Now, what we used to do was we would use a bit of grinding paste and we would grind the cylinder before it's put on the engine, you identify it, and you grind it into this ring to help improve compression. But nowadays, as you can see, they're flat, so you can't really grind it in. Right, here we are. We're going to do the other side now. And this time I'm going to show you how the head is built up. Uh, same thing. Uh, use new pushrod tubes. They don't cost very much. Make sure the CT ones that are bigger on one end than the other. And for a CT engine, you're going to have to order the big um, rubber seals. Which, as you can see, are bigger than the small rubber seals. These are the ones that come standard in the gasket set. These you have to order separately. Get new push rod tubes because the old ones, I mean, here's a typical old one, and it's got a right old bash on it, and it's about to get just about worn through, and it's all compressed up and manky and horrible. So there we are. Another thing to do now, if you're going for it properly, I've already done these, is you can take out you can take out the hydraulic tappets. Oh, do it again. Take out the hydraulic tappets. See, they pull out. You've got to give them a good tug, and they come out. And you can strip them down. But as this engine was running until very recently, I'm just checking that they're still pumped up, and so it'll be okay for when you do the initial setting of the engine. The engine ran all right before, just a bit wheezy and worn out. Right. We're also going to be slackening off the adjusting nuts on the rocker bar. Here's the rocker bar mounted in a little vise just so I can get to it easily. That will make life a lot easier. Um, there we are. Okay, you will need uh, 15 millimeter, 30 millimeter, sot hammer, proper torque wrench. Uh, and that's it. Right. First thing to do is to drop the cylinder head into place. Right. Just drop the cylinder head on loosely, no bolts or anything, because we're going to have we're going to use this big gap so that we can put the push push rod tubes in using the push rods themselves. Okay. Okay. Big end of push rod tube goes in, and then now comes the tricky bit. <laughs> push rod tube, push rod tube. You just let it go in, just so it holds it in place just to stop it from falling on the floor. You're going to do the same thing with all four. You're going to do the same thing with the remaining three. One, two, three. And then we're just going to move the head down a little bit. Okay. Right. I'll get on and do that. Right. We've now pushed the head down. 
a little bit. See the studs are only just sticking out of the cylinder head. And we've got the tubes, the push rod tubes, the les enveloppes in French, in, and we've got the actual push rods, but they're just there sort of to stop them from falling out, really. Now, what you do now is you turn the tube, I'll do it with my other hand, you turn the tube round, the two outer ones you do first, turn the tube round, until you see the welded seam there, put that to the top and do that for all four of them. Okay? Right. Once we've got everything, we want to see that these are all nicely lined up and not catching anywhere. And then what we do is we just put one nut in the middle. You won't be able to, you won't be able to get a washer on at the moment. Just put one nut onto the middle. And just nip it down slightly. Just so that the other studs start to show through. Then you take one of the, the eight big iron washers, which you must never lose, by the way, because they're very hard to get hold of. Put one in top left hand corner and just run the nut on. Same thing in the bottom right hand corner. And the two outer ones, you just nip up a bit, not a lot enough and then you can take off the one that you put on with no washer and the reason you did all this is to have enough studs sticking out and all the rest of the studs to put the rest in you also check once again that everything's looking nice down here okay right. now that you've got all the nuts down all you've got to do now is just tighten them up, finger tight, no more, and make sure that you've got, you must have the correct cast iron washer. And these are 13 millimeter nuts, but they're effectively uh, 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 15 millimeter heads. Okay, and they're specific again, Volkswagen. They're black. They're unzinked. Uh, and so on, and make sure you clean them out with paraffin, and um, I use the compressor just to blow them clean, so that when you torque up, you haven't got any lubricant there. Okay, I'm just going to knit these up by hand now. Right, what we're going to do now is we're going to torque up the cylinder heads. Cylinder heads want to be torqued about 28 newton meters, so what I do is I start I start at about 18 and go around a complete time and then I reset the um, torque wrench to 28 and then go all over it again okay and this is done diagonally so you do that one 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 that one, that one, and so on. Diagonally, not in a straight line. Okay? And it's dead easy. What you do is just keep going round. Until you can feel it all starting to nip up. Now the torque wrench is set to 28, and you just go around the whole thing progressively. 
until it absolutely just clicks straight away with no more movement on the bolts. Go over it several times. You do, you'll be doing it again after 500 or so kilometers. Right, okay. Next thing to do is to put the two little rubber washers that go underneath the rocker shafts. And these rubber washers, they give you, and these, all these kits are standard. They'll do a 1200, a 1500, uh, uh, just about everything up to a two litre. And so there's some bits that are too big. Those are not for use for that. That's what these are for. And these little tiny ones, one goes on here. Like that. And one goes on there like that. That's it. Now, before we put the uh, rocker bar in, what I'm going to do is I'm going to slacken off the adjusting nuts and the screws because it's so much easier to do it now than when you got it in the engine. Okay. Pause. Right. Now slacken these off. These now move quite happily. Okay. Now we're going to put it on. See, it's got slots cut in the top. There, goes in slots upwards. Drop it on. Okay. Now, with CT engines and anything with hydraulic tappets, you've got to be very careful to make sure you actually get the tappet properly sat right in the cup of uh, uh, the cam follower, right in front of the hydraulic tappet. Because otherwise you think you've got it in, and you haven't. Right, so I'll just... Line these up, persuade everything in, a little tricky one-hander, but there we go, right, and now I'm going to give them a good little rattle, make sure it's properly in, right, there we go, and then I'm going to put the first, put the two little washers, and then the two little 13mm nuts, and just gently tighten them down by hand, just to make sure everything's going down okay. All right. Right. Once you've got the rocker bars on, and you think you've got everything reasonably right, then what I do is I take hold of the flywheel and I turn the engine round through a couple of turns to make sure that all the valves are going up and down nicely, and that there's no hard spots, and that means that everything is correctly seated. Then what I do is I take the motor around to the top dead centre, here we are, mark, that we did much earlier, long ago, and then I'm going to find out where I am on my filing order, and then I'm going to just do a first setting of the tappet. Okay, take off the glove, and pull. Okay. Ooh, there's an owl in my barn. And they're getting ready to go out. Timing mark on top dead centre. Check by looking down the little hole. And that means that you can just see. I wonder if I can, the camera will pick it up. Can you see the piston through the spark plug hole? Yeah, I think you can. That's a top dead centre. So now, just as an initial setting, is you just get contact. Ooh, the owls are getting really busy. Right, just, and then one half turn will do it. Okay, and then one half turn, and then we lock down the lock nuts, holding the screwdriver in place to keep it in position. Okay. Well, that's about it for the moment. That's both cylinder heads on. Everything down talked up. And I'm just going to put the rocker cover spring on and just drop the rocker power into place and clip it on just to keep from having any um, little knocks and bumps and so on. I won't put the gaskets in yet. We'll do all that much, much later on when we get round to putting oil in the thing. Okay, stop for now.